Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovon, and welcome to something interesting. A brand new mod has arisen on the Steam Workshop called Spectroverse, the Secrets of the Magna G. I think that is the name of it. Um, basically, this is a new quest mod that was added that adds, like, a whole bunch of features, including voice acting, quests, and just, like, a whole bunch of different cool stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the description, so let me pull it up on my phone really quickly, because it sounds pretty interesting. Give me one second. All right. So, Spectroverse features a quest line with several voice actors revolving around the children of Magnus. Your reward for intervening in the war in heaven is a choice of 42 unique destruction spells with scripted effects. So that right there is what made me want to play this, even though I never really play a mage character. Uh, it sounds like this guy created 42 like unique destruction spells that all have different effects, and that sounds cool. Features, 42 all-new destru destruction spells using custom graphics and sounds, so yes. High skill cap rewarding player skill, so it's challenging. Quest line based on expanded TES lore, so it's lore friendly. Uh, five voiced main characters, six epic locations, six quests, configuration options available, no one cares about that. High well, some people care about that, not me. High level of build quality compatible with many things. And to play this, you have to have the legendary edition um, of the game or Dawn Guard. I have the legendary edition. However, you also have to be level 3. You also have to be in the wilderness and wait to start off this. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I am at least level 3. I think I'm level, what, 20... Uh, how do I check my stats? I'm so dumb. I forget at the moment. There we go. I'm level 22. Name Fenrir Trueblade. This is on the computer, not my usual uh, file on the Xbox. Anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to start this off and we are going to wait 24 hours. And we're close to Pine Watch. If you guys remember, the last time I used this PC uh, file was for uh, the Skyrim Hidden Treasure Pine Watch episode. And now I have an Xbox controller, and it feels so much better than playing on the keyboard. But unfortunately, you can't hit the Xbox Guide button to fast travel through all this wait. Uh, so, but we're almost done here. And I think it, yeah, I think it does wait a little bit faster than the console versions because the PC is more of a powerhouse. So, there we go. And now we're looking for someone to run to us and talk to us. I've done this before just to make sure it all works and everything like that. Um, and it took two waiting sessions, so I'm not sure... If I see the guy right now, I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and run to where I was when he did show up, um, which was right over here. And yes, this uh, giant frostbite spider appeared last time too. There we go. Um, if I zoom out, by the way, I'm still wearing the serratic armor, which is really badass. This is another mod I have installed. Um, all right, let's zoom back in. Doesn't look like he's showing up. So this is where I waited the second time, and I waited 12 hours. So let's try that. Um, as far as the mods that I have installed right now go, I only have three. I usually, when I showcase something, I delete it right afterwards unless I really like it. I only have three. The Asteria, which was that Dwemer floating airship that I showed off for like my 50, no, 15,000 subscriber video. Um, the Serratic Armor and this uh, mod. There we go. This is the guy that we want to see. Ra, Khajiit has something important to tell you. The heavens fail from the sky. Okay, so as you can see, he's voice acted, and he, you know, it sounds pretty good compared to a normal Khajiit in Skyrim. What are you talking about? The spheres, they broke into millions of pieces above the sea of ghosts. Panic, panic, Nern is ending. Khajiit needs help, Dragonborn. Okay, so Nern is the whole planet that we're on right now, with Terramiel being only a section. Calm down, what happened? Shards of the stars, magic everywhere. Boom! Lashido. I'll take a look for you. It had better been. It had, it, it had better be worth it. Thank you. 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 Kajit thanks you. Take your loot. That's what you said. Hmm? Okay, and this marks the end of what I've seen of this mod so far. Uh, and I don't know what take your loot means. I guess that's maybe a reward that we're gonna get eventually i don't know anyways we have been given a quest here orphans of the stars a mad khajiit approached me ranting about a cataclysmic event at the sea of ghosts according to the khajiit something valuable broke off and fell from the heavens investigate the anomaly at the sea of ghosts and we press x to show that on the map it's all the way out there um i guess that's what the sea of ghosts is and i guess 
you should head to col the College of Winterhold. There's also something back here that applies with the main story. Maybe we'll see it on the way. But yes, to the Sea of Ghosts. Man, so this is pretty creepy. I don't think I've ever been out uh, to this region of Skyrim for an extended period of time, other than that one place that you go for the main quest. I don't want to spoil it for the two people in the whole world that haven't done the main quest of Skyrim yet. But yeah, this is where we are right now, in the middle of freaking nowhere out here. And then there's really nothing except for, like, tundra and ice, of course, as there should be. Um, but our quest objective is over there. I think we still got a bit of a ways to go. Yeah, let's try and zoom and see how close exactly. We're not that far off, and I do see a quest marker off in the distance. Um, not a quest marker, I mean a location marker. And I'm wondering what type of location marker it looks like. Can't really make it out because the quest objective is right above it. So, I'm pretty interested for this mod, I have to be honest. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, it seems to be relating to magic because of the Magnus children in the description and the Magna name in the name and also the fact that you get one of 42 unique destruction spells. Ooh, I see something that was the thumbnail um, of this mod and it's sort of like the shield thing with a face. There it is. I also see a couple of goats, don't know if they have any significance with this mod but there we go off to a good start I'd say this looks pretty interesting the marker discovered yes and look at that interesting very interesting I also hear some sort of thing that wants to kill me in the background there maybe a, a saber-tooth tiger or something we're not even gonna bother with it let's activate the marker discordant waveform detected please identify yourself Okay, so, this sort of has like a sci-fi thing to it already. Uh, who or what am I dealing with? I am the Marker, created to explore and enlighten, to bring wisdom to the peoples of time, to further the cause of the Pantheon. Pantheon, huh? Insert League of Legends joke here, as I keep doing in all my videos. The Pantheon. The Pantheon exists beyond the spheres in the end times. You call us the Magna G. A disruption event has destabilized the Pantheon. Your support is required, Dragonborn. A mission plan has been instantiated. Upon completing your mission, there will be mead. <laughs> because that's all Nords care about. Complete investigate the anomaly at the Sea of Ghosts. Explore the area indicated by the marker. Can we further activate Input this? accepted. Symmetry incomplete. Uh, bring me to your masters. Are you C, Blend, M, K, or Y? And that is a reference to CMYK, right? I, thi I think, I'm not sure, which is like a color scheme used in um, printing and stuff. Let's say bring me to your masters. Uplink energy depleted. Unable to open gateway. Okay, so there's like some sort of alien thing going on with this. Um, you I must see activate additional pylons. I think all these are like sci-fi references and jokes. Are you C blend M K or Y? Knowledge level exceeding predictions. This does not concern you, fleshly. Yes. Okay. So basically, she's saying that we should not be knowing about C M Y K in the Skyrim universe. Anyways, let's take a look at this quest. Investigate the anomaly at the Sea of Ghosts. Show that on map. And where are we in relation to this? Probably pretty far, yeah, goddamn. Oh man, uh, this is gonna be pretty annoying to get to because I think we need to go to solitude, like drop below the the, uh, the overpass thing and swim all the way out here. It would be really nice if they added like a boat thing in this mod because so far it looks like we're having to, uh, no, what did I do that for? No. What, what? It's been a while since I played Skyrim. What am I doing? Um, world map. Let's remove that. There we go. And let's travel to solitude, I guess. No, what is going on here? Travel to solitude. What? Oh, duh, I have not been to solitude yet because this is a pretty new file. Okay, well, we'll go to Winterhold and we'll travel to solitude, and I will meet you guys at that quest location. Alright, everybody, so I begin my uh, ginormous swim to that map marker, and I just want to say I really liked how they did this in Skyrim, how they made Solitude with this giant rock overpass thing. Um, it just looks so cool, especially when you're over by the East Empire trading house and uh, you see it for the first time. So I will begin my trek all the way over there to the middle of nothing and see what we can find, and I will see you guys there. So yeah, I gotta say, I'm not sure if the creepiness level is uh, intended or not. Uh, this obviously has something to do with like forces beyond our power or whatever. 
but they've done a pretty good job so far of like setting the like locations of these markers and things because they're out in the middle of nowhere you know in the sea of ghosts and you just have to swim so far away from civilization that I really enjoy like that there's this like creepiness factor so far again I don't know if that was intended or not I'm just really liking the mod so far one of the reasons is because of that okay so we've got like a wrecked ship here and it looks like we've got a guy as well with a bow it looks like he's gonna attack us already Captain Cerulo well, as long as it's not Jason Derulo, am I right? Haha, <laughs> okay, let's get up here and kill this guy. Looks like a high elf? Either a high elf or a wood elf. I'm guessing wood elf. Well, he died fairly quickly. What difficulty is this on? Might want to change that so you guys don't all yell at me. Um, settings, gameplay, difficulty novice, yes. Okay, let's put it to... Uh, you guys are going to kill me if I don't put it on adept. Uh, I'm gonna put it on Apprentice anyways. Sorry, this is more of like a showcase for this mod. I don't really... And this guy really isn't all that powered up, so I don't want to like have to die every two seconds. Let's search Captain, uh, what, Cerulo? Yes. And Hunting Bow, 14 Gold, Iron Arrow. So nothing really of value. Um, and we also have a map marker here. With nothing specific, so I'm guessing what we need to do is search this chest. Seven gold, Cerulo's journal. That sounds like what we want. Let's take a look at our items. Go to books. My dogs are barking in the background because someone is placing something on my door. Cerulo's journal. <clears throat> Find the sky shard underwater near the ship. Sky shard, that's interesting. That is uh, related to Elder Scrolls. Oh my god, Sydney, you are ruining this video right now. He doesn't care. Okay, Morndoss, 4 of Heartfire, 4E201. Did we just witness the fall of an ethereal fragment? It is hard to tell what happened. One moment there was nothing. Jesus Christ. My dogs usually don't bark this loud. They're going crazy. It is hard to tell what happened. One moment there was nothing. The next, a fiery heat from above burned our clothes, and a fountain of water splashed up near the ship. It might just be from form of wait it might just be a form of a freak lightning a freak light okay i thought he put a typo in there at first uh but we should investigate nonetheless this may be our salvation from toil and hardship and altmer deserves better than a life at sea so he was indeed a uh, high elf okay so get a new quest objective doesn't look like it find the sky shard underwater near the ship okay we did it's just underwater let's go take a dip find the sky shard which of course is one of the collectibles you can find I don't know if collectibles is the right word but it's one of the things you can find in uh, the Elder Scrolls online okay this might be submerged way lower than I originally thought and we don't have a uh, water breathing um, enchantment I don't think so yeah we're gonna have to get the hell out of here before we die uh, yeah we're fine we should be fine anyways let's get back up here um, okay. So, let me just read that again. Find the Sky Shard underwater near the ship. But the quest marker is not pointing to it, I don't think. Yeah, it's definitely not like direct. Yeah, it's pointing to the ship itself where there is no Sky Shard. So, this might be a little harder than I originally thought. This might be where the skill. Uh, in the, in the um, mods description is involved. Let me see if I have anything that gives water breathing. I don't think I do. But let's see. Weapons. Mm, I don't think any weapon would give water breathing, but just want to make sure. No apparel. Let's see here. Magicka, unarmed skills. Doesn't look like it. Our last hope is a potion. And no. Okay. So, I guess what's going to happen here is we need to just take a plunge and try and find it without dying. Which is going to be hard. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save really quickly. I'm going to take a plunge and try and do it. And if I can't, I'm going to fast forward until I can. Uh, I might have to use god mode. Don't hate me for it. I just don't have any water breathing at the moment Yeah, and I don't I have no idea where this thing could be. Oh wait, we see a cage down here Oh look at this. This might be it right here. It's glowing. I would assume this is it. Touch the sky shark. Boom! Okay, let's get up before we die 
That was interesting. That was like a unique thing they added into the mod, the animation of that thing exploding. But yeah, Sky Shards are one of the things you can find in the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, if you find three, you get a skill point, and they're sort of like in specific locations. So it sounds like this might be tying a little bit to the Elder Scrolls Online. That's why it's a recent mod, considering the Elder Scrolls Online came out recently. Um, let's see, return to the marker. Let's do that. Let's go back to this marker. Okay, it's our good old friend, the Marker, this weird, creepy, uh, glowing, shield-looking face thing. Let's talk to it again. Input accepted. Symmetry incomplete. Um, okay, follow the Marker's psionic lead. What in the world is that supposed to mean? I guess that's... Oh, why, why do we need to go back to where we just went to? That's kind of lame. Nevertheless... Back to the spot that we literally just came from. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of weird. It's not the spot that we literally just came from. Um, I fast traveled to the lighthouse, and then it changed to over here. And then I fast traveled to Dawnstar, and then now it's changed over here. So I'm getting sort of a Pokemon Legendary uh, Dogs vibe here, if anyone remembers in Silver and Gold when you needed to find Entei. <sighs> Uh, Raikou and Suicune? Forgive me if that's not how you pronounce the names, I never really... Usually with Pokemon, I always came up with my own pronunciations. Um, but yeah, it looks to be changing every time we fast travel, so I'm just gonna run to this one now. Uh-oh, no. I'm doing a mod quest, dragon. Leave me alone, I'm just gonna run from it. I don't even want to bother with it. Don't you shoot me with your ice. I was gonna say fire, but I switched the last second. Because I've remembered that uh, dragons can shoot ice as well. Alright, this guy's probably not going to let up. We might want to take him down. Um, should be just a normal dragon. We also got, what, a pack of wolves, probably. Okay. Yeah, you can deal with those wolves. I'm just going to go ahead and go to this thing over here. Forgive me, dragon. I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I have a mod to showcase. Alright, so it didn't change, hopefully. Yeah, alright. So it looks like every time, like I said, you uh, fast travel to a different location, it changes locations, and that's why it's called a psionic lead. Um, because it can fluctuate. Okay, so over this hill is the quest marker, and it looks like we have a guy running towards us. Thanks be to Mary. Finally we meet. Magna G? I'm Celatar, priest of Mer... Ridia, and adept of the Magna J. Um, okay, Magna G, again? Star orphans. The children of Magnus, the architect of the planetary spheres. They followed Magnus when he retreated from our world to Aetherius. The tears they left in the veil of oblivion are what we call the stars. Okay, um... Why are you looking for me? Tell me, Dragonborn, you found a shooting star, did you? If by that you mean a sky shard. Most mortals cannot see them. It is a great honor to be chosen by a Magna J. Shooting stars are the shards of the breaking. Through them, you can commune with the signs. Patterns guide you. Okay, so that guy had a pretty good voice actor. I don't know who that guy over there in the distance is. I want to see, though. Might just be a hunter. Old orc. Oh, it's the old orc! Look at that! A random instance, uh, a random encounter type of deal. Let's talk to him. I am waiting for a good death. Right. A uh, good death. Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Malakath being the orc, Daedric Lord. Um, perhaps I could give you the death you seek? Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Yes, I am sure. I will give you a good death. Hmm. We shall see. Okay. So yeah, this is this is something that's in the vanilla version of Skyrim. Um, basically, this old orc will walk around Skyrim. If you come across him, he'll ask for a good death. Uh, because orcs are very combat-oriented, obviously, and he wants to please his lord, which is Malakath. So we'll give him his good death. There we go. Luckily, we didn't behead him or anything like that. I'd call that a good death. Let's search him. 126 gold, and that's pretty much it. So I think that will end this episode on a high note. Normally, I'd ask if you guys would want to see more, but honestly, I'm intrigued and I want to play this out. It doesn't seem that long. I think there was like six quests, so I'm definitely going to finish it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. My name is Grovon, and as always, have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.
Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.